fantastic grip. It's a, it's a nice little double traditional action here. Perfect for people brought up in the uh, drum corps lifestyle. Dealing with the traditional or the standard double traditional snare drum grip. You just you just take your standard double traditional, grab the other sticks, and you're good to go. You can play marimba. Start off with some scales. It's great for octaves, double octaves. That's the thing. You reach there though, and you got to start moving. It's better to take as many steps as you can. downwards, uh, which is very um, ergonomically efficient with this grip. You just kind of have to adjust your body so you're comfortable. Um, so this is this is a pretty comfortable position for playing marimba. really quiet by just leaving the mouths nice and angled. Uh, it's fantastic for this. Uh, the best feature of the double traditional Thompson grip is the, uh, the flam feature. Um, we all know dead stroke, open stroke flams are very common in marimba repertoire, and that's made very easy with these. So you get the dead stroke, and then that one bounces on the open stroke. kind of derived from the standard uh, double traditional marching grip, which comes from the regular traditional, or reverse traditional, as we call it up in my homeland, uh, which then developed into the double traditional, which then I've developed into the Thompson Marimba grip. Um, so with that marching drumline background, um, it's nice to have a little flair when you play. So um, although standard is just to play in your, your normal standard position, it's sometimes nice to flip it to um, just get a little, little extra visual in there. Um, just some, some little atonal passages there that we like to... for that stuff. Uh, the audience will love all that little... the little stick flips and that kind of stuff. It's great for reaching the accidentals. Because, um, I mean, if I need to go up to an accidental, it's... that's really awkward. So it's, it's, it's much easier just to sit here and go like this. It's wonderful. Just practicing my chopstick technique. Um, it's, it's 
It's kind of similar to the double Thompson. Double Thompson? Tra double traditional Thompson? Something along those lines. Uh, there's a name in there somewhere. The DTT, the double traditional Thompson. The TDT, Thompson double traditional. Something like that. Uh, I guess just to talk about how you know when you're holding your sticks in the correct position. Um, this is the correct position. It gives you the, uh, the maximum range. Um, this obviously would not give you the maximum range. The easy way to tell if you are uh, holding the sticks correctly, it's called the, um, the ETS. No, the ETT, sorry, the uh, equilateral, equilateral Triangle Test. Um, if you're holding your sticks correctly, you can do kind of like a Zorro thing here and, uh, and form a, uh, an equilateral triangle with the sticks, if you can manage to hold them correctly. There we go, look at that. Equilateral triangle. Uh, if you're not holding them correctly, you will not be, form, be able to form the, uh, the equilateral triangle and will therefore fail the ETT. Um, so there you go. Get that, and you're good to go. So I guess just to recap, um, you start with your sticks, double traditional, scoop up the other ones, check out your ETT, and then you're ready to play. Thank you for watching.